The designs are half elves? Yes, it's said that they're almost entirely composed of half elves. Why'd you bring that up all of a sudden? I was just thinking they're of the same blood I am. How can they do such terrible things? Ah, uh, that's right. You're an elf. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. When I think about how they're at least half human, I have to wonder how they can do the things they do. Don't you think it's because they've been persecuted? That's because they treat us like cattle. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? What? Nothing. Alright, uh, so it looks like the same philosophical questions are relevant in Silverant as in our world. The age-old philosophical question. Anyway, um, welcome back. Uh, so, we're, now that we're done with the Kavar uh, episode, like the, the whole mission to go you know, free the Asgard Ranch prisoners, we can finally go here with Sheena and see what she has to say about the unicorn. Wow, so there are still unicorns left on this side. This side? Um, nothing. I wonder if we can make contact with it. Do you intend to make use of the healing power said to exist in the unicorn horn? Yes, exactly. If we have the unicorn horn, we may be able to save Colette and Clara. Really? It is possible. It is said that the healing arts developed from studying the unicorn. Then we must find a way to get to the unicorn. But how can we get over there? Can we just swim to it? You won't be able to hold your breath that long. Damn it, isn't there anything we can do? There is a way. What? We could summon Undine. Mdini, I should say, who exists somewhere in this world and control the water's mana. Mdini? Ni? You mean the summon spirit? We don't have anyone who can summon the summon spirits. I... I haven't formed a pact yet, but if I can form the pact, then I can summon. Oh, so Sheena's a summoner. I'm a guardian user, but I can summon too. I'd heard that art of summoning was lost a very long time ago. Well, it still exists. Anyway, if you're not interested, I'm not going to force you. No, we need the unicorn horn. Please do it, Sheena. Uh, Alright, then let's go to the Seal of Water. Undini should be at the Seal. The Thodic Geyser, right? Let's go! Yeah! This is quite a detour. Yes. Okay. A summon spirit, hmm? I wonder how the pact works. I can't wait to see. There he goes again. Won't you get bored halfway through? Shut up! I'm interested, so I'm excited, okay? It's fine that you're interested. But the problem is the way you get bored with everything. Shut up! Stop ganging up on me! Stop telling us to shut up! We're talking about your attitude! Shut up! All of you! <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. That's funny. Um, so anyway, um, yay! We're going back. We're doing something a little bit new now. We're getting a summon spirit for Sheena, who is apparently a summoner. This is the first we're hearing about this. <clears throat> we're learning new things about Sheena as a character. Which is cool, because her motives have been kind of unclear this whole time, and she just joined our party, so it's about time she gets the time to shine. So we have to go on the uh, on to the back to the other side of the peak to the Palma Costa side. I'm gonna stop in here to look at the Book of Regeneration real quick. Hmm. Let's see. The yields we the, the seals we have yet to release are. The unknown seal in the Tower of Mana, it looks like. Okay, let's get going. <clears throat> so just the one seal, 
we will be going to the Tower of Mana. We were going to go there anyway for Boltzmann's book, which is part of this whole side quest with the Unicorn Horn anyway. It's not a side quest, it's a main quest. Um, but it, well, in the grand scheme of things with the seals and everything, it's sort of like side questy, but it is a main quest in the, in the actual game itself. Anyway, here's another skit. <clears throat> Kratos? What? Have I grown stronger? Your sword skills have certainly improved. However, however, you have realized that that alone is not enough, have you not? That's why you felt compelled to ask. What strength you seek, what path you seek, no one but you knows the answer. Yeah, I guess you're right. However, there still undoubtedly remain even more fighting techniques that you do not know. Continue to fight alongside your comrades and defeat your enemies. You may find your answers along that path. Alright, I'll trust that one day I will find those answers, and in the meantime I will start with what I can do now. Wow, that didn't sound like me at all. Heh. <laughs> Mastering was added to the training manual. Cool. So that's one more tip for the training manual. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure what mastering... I think mastering is just like getting all the skills to their maximum level and yeah, the different branches. I don't know. Um, so, Thoda Geyser. Uh, since this is a Sheena-centric episode, let's Sheena it up. Put Sheena in the lead of the party, because I do believe she is needed in the party for this particular quest. She should be. It's a summoner's quest. Um, I do want to swing by Palma Costa to see if I can get. You remember how? Oh, hi. You remember how I was the? Uh... You're in for a world of hurt. I do actually want to build up the unison gauge for reasons. So I'm not entirely annoyed that I got into it. But anyway, remember how there was uh, stuff we needed to buy, or not buy, but like stuff we needed to customize, and we couldn't do it all. I'm gonna drop by Palma Costa to see if uh, they have brass. I think I think brass was the only material we needed back in Haima. And then next time we go back to Haima, we can finish that. But yeah. But in the meantime, well, speaking of Sheena, I believe there is a skip point for her right here. Yes. It feels strange. I was your enemy, but now I'm traveling with you guys. Yeah, probably because you're trusting. Look who's talking. You're pretty trusting too. I think all of us are like that. If we weren't, we wouldn't be on this journey. Yeah, then I'll have to thank everyone for being trusting. Why? I, I wanted friends. I wanted friends who have nothing to do with the rules of the village. What village? Uh, hehe, <laughs> me too. We're kind of alike. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm going to conspire with you. That's not what friends do. Yeah, I know. Welcome aboard, Sheena. Hehe, <laughs> thanks. And now they're all buddy buddy. You're in for a world of hurt. We still don't really know Sheena that well. Oh hi. Ooh, a mega Tempest. It's an upgraded version of Tempest, which I think I will update on here. Um, speaking of which, Kratos learned Light Spear. I guess Light Spear is a good upward mobility type move, so I'll do that. Actually, he doesn't have that many. He doesn't have that many melee techs, ironically, even though Kr Kratos is like very half and half with his usage, like types of techs. But, um. I'll do Light Spear and then keep first aid, because, yeah. I'm rarely gonna control Kratos anyway, so I don't know what the point of that was. But, um. Anyway. I was just warming up. So. Sheena does have good character development in this game. She's slow going because she remains a mystery at this point. But so far, you know, Rain even is warming up to her, and which is one of the more interesting relationships in the game. Is like how Rain warms up to and begins to trust Sheena. Because um, like she's she was the most skeptical right off the bat. Her and Kratos being the most pragmatic members of the party, because Colette, you know, Colette is just like, oh, you know, we'll be friends, I know we'll be friends. Colette was never really skeptical of Sheena, which is weird, because Sheena was trying to kill her, specifically. Um, I don't want to fight. I don't feel like fighting right now. I, I got enough fighting to do. Um, 
Alright, let's stop by Pomacosta. I should probably buy food too while I'm here, because I don't have that many ingredients. So, this is where we want to go to the market. The, who's the customized guy? Exchange grade. Please have brass. You don't have brass. Where do I get brass? Do they have it in tree yet? Oh my goodness. I came back here for like nothing then. Okay. Okay. What do I? I don't even remember what I needed brass for to be honest. I guess I'll top off my magic lenses, even though you know need him that badly. And food. This is pretty important. You know, I, I don't like to fall behind with cooking food. Uh, we don't need beef or chicken for anything specifically, but we could use plenty of pork for meat stew and cabbage roll. Um, rice, we need rice galore. Barley rice. I should probably just get barley rice. I'll get a lot of rice. Well, actually, not no, not that much. That's a little too much. There we go. Pasta, eh. Bread, mm, eh. Uh, we don't really need those sautés. We do need eggs. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? We do need this to cook our newfound risotto recipe. Uh, milk can go in risotto, but it doesn't have to. Alright, um, well... I'll buy, you know what, I'll buy a few of these just so I can make some more meats, too. Didn't I need kelp for that, too? I'll get a few of these. I'll get some fish. Fish? Actually, no. Fish are not really good for much. I don't have kelp here. It's dumb. I don't know. I'm just trying to get things that I won't be able to easily get later. You know what I mean? Got a few octop octopi and squid. Um, onions. You can never have too many onions. Ogres are like onions because ogres have layers. I don't know. I'm not doing that. Not doing that meme. Okay, whatever. Disappointed by this. I'm not that disappointed, but I'm a little disappointed. Uh, Sheena, why don't you cook us some meat stew? How come I... Yeah, I don't have kelp. What the heck? Where do I get kelp? Oh my goodness. Sheena, cook us some risotto. Okay. Uh, what does risotto do? It just HP. Okay. Alright, we've wasted enough time here. Do I need to heal? Uh, not really. Not really. Okay, can we teleport me to the, uh... House of Salvation. By the way, we got back the Spiritual statue. Did, did that ever? Did we ever make anything of that? Glad you were able to safely receive the spirit, retrieve the Spiritual statue. I apologize. Okay, I don't remember what we did with the Spiritual statue. What did we do with the Spirit? I think we just showed it to the old man, or like something, like uh, Kotan. Uh, I'm actually gonna rest here, because it's cheap, and there might be a skit. Oh, look at that. I wonder what angels really are, exactly. I don't know. But the way things are now, Colette is suffering too much. No, it's okay. I'm fine. After all, the whole reason I was born was to become an angel and save the world. No, you were born to live your own life, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. I think we've detoured enough. Um. So let's get to let's get going. Let's get moving. So Soda Dock, Soda Geyser, which is. This is gonna be a piece of. I really didn't want to get into a battle. Actually, I mean, I kind of. Don't mind getting into a battle. Like 
I do. I do want to. That was disappointing. Be as prepared as possible. Um, am I going the right? I'm sorry. Wait, where am I going the right way? What? What's that? Yeah, no, I'm going the right way. I'm all flipped around. I haven't been to Palma Coaster for a long time. Um. Yeah, so the docks are right over here. There's the other ranch we blew up. And... it's cool. So Sheena's never actually seen these washed up things before. She's about to, it's gonna be fun. Actually, she has seen the wash tubs because she's she went to Thoda, Do Thoda Island on her own because um, she we saw her there. Remember, we saw her at, like right outside, but Noish blocked her from getting in the temple. So you were the chosen's group. You should have told me. I can't take money from the chosen. Would you like to use the boat? Sure, if you can call it that. Thank you very much. I'm sure Rain is not happy about this that we have to go back here. Sorry, Rain. Alright, so back here, we are returning to the temple. It's all open. I'm surprised no one else is, like, coming up here. Like, the temple's just open for anybody to just waltz right in. Unless those, that, that shiny ramp is, like, chosen-proof, or, like, you can't walk on it unless you're the chosen you're group. In the, world of hurt. the chosen's whole group though. Like, we can all walk on it. You're the chosen and I don't know. And the people with her. Bottom line is I'm surprised no one else has wandered into this temple. Let's hurry on. Man, I didn't get to do anything. Well, um, we won kelp. <laughs> A piece of kelp from that battle. So, I can actually make meat stew once. <laughs> You're in for a world of hurt. It's a good thing I uh, got a new card for Sheena, too, because she was orig originally using the card of water. And that's not exactly the one card we want to be using in this temple. That was disappointing. I guess I'll cook um, risotto. This is gonna be a piece of cake. <laughs> All right, so Sheena's in over limit, which I normally would be excited about, but I'm not because you see. In fact, I'm gonna summon. I okay, I was gonna summon Corinne. All right, but believe it or not, Sheena can only summon when she, except for Corinne, she can only summon in over limit. Which is dumb. I mean, it's not that dumb. I, I don't know if it's dumb. I don't know if the summons in this game are really that overpowered. But they made it so that you can only summon with Sheena when <laughs> she goes into overlimit. So it makes summoning very unreliable. And very, like, situational. And when it when she does go into overlimit, it's like, oh man, Sheena's in overlimit. And you desperately are like, oh, I want to summon something to cook for the gimmick of it. But, I don't know, the summons are pretty good this game. Alright, our attack is going to be up for the next battle, which is fantastic. I'm going to save here. Um, but yeah, we don't have any summons though, except for Corinne, and Corinne is the exception to the rule. But, we're about to get one, so let's do it. Also, the uh, I do want to do I do want to set up these. Well, first of all, lightning will probably be very good against a water enemy. Spoilers: We're gonna fight an enemy, and I'm gonna leave Power Seal and Sonic Thrust here because, believe it or not, that's a combo. All right, that's all. I'm 
I must admit, I'm interested as well. A summoning pact. Hmm. It's easy for you to say. I, I might fail, you know. You'll do fine. I mean, I don't really know how it works, but... Boy's right. If anyone can do it, you can, Sheena. You don't even know anything about it. Fine, I'll do it. But don't blame me if something goes wrong and you get hurt. Possess the right of the pact. I am one who is bound to Mythos. What is your name? Mythos? The hero of the Carlon War? Not only was Mythos a swordsman, he had the ability to summon as well? Mythos is a common boy's name. It's not necessarily Mythos the hero. I am Sheena. I seek a pact with Undini. As things stand now, I cannot. Why? I am already bound by a pact. I cannot form two packs at the same time. You mean you're packed with that Mythos guy? What am I supposed to do now? They never said anything about this at the Research Institute. Well, what should we do, Lloyd? Uh, huh. Well, can't you just get her to cancel the old pact? How? We don't even have any idea where this Mythos person is. A summon spirit pact requires a vow. As long as the pact maker upholds that vow, the pact remains valid. That is correct. I know about that. The summon spirit approves the pact maker's vow and agrees to the pact. Exactly. Therefore, all you need to do is follow Lloyd's advice and request the annulment of the previous pact to form a new one. It's possible the previous pact maker has broken his vow, or he may have already passed away. Is it really that simple? I suppose you could call it simple. But if the previous pact maker is still alive, and hasn't broken his vow, then there's nothing to do with Okay, I'll give it a shot. Undini, I am Sheena. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos, and establish a new pact. Before I can allow the formation of a new pact, I must test your worthiness as a pact maker. Draw your weapons. What? We have to fight? Let it begin. Alright. I shall judge your worth. So, Undini. Isn't that the sound the Jawas from Star Wars make? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, we do have to fight her, and... In a magic lens uh, up right now. Luckily, there's only one of her. Unluckily, she's got some pretty hard hitting moves. Lightning! Try this! Power! Nice. Nice. I think I might control Lord for a while. It is a little more reliable than that. I would have had to bring Sheena into this battle anyway, though. Don't overdo it. Ready? Okay, good. Oh, my goodness. So, like I said, it doesn't really help that Sheena has very low HP. Are you okay? Luckily, knocking her down is pretty useful. Ready? Don't overdo it. Oh man! Dang it! Don't overdo it. And if Sheena, oh my goodness, if Sheena goes into overlimit, I can't summon another summon. She doesn't have any other so I could summon her in. But that doesn't really help me that much, because Kareem is not that good. Speaking of Overlimit, oh man. Oh, wait, I ran right into that. Okay. Oh, we're 
cutting it close, guys. Oh. So, my strategy now is to like keep it cornered. Oh, Spread is a killer right there. Don't overdo it. But luckily, I can do this again. Lightning. Try this. Power. Uh, Sheena, get away from there, please. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Like any TP left with her. The trick also with Sheena is use life seal to zap her HP. Boy, you're not doing so well. Oh, it's like, who is she using? Ready? Man, Sheena's kind of a liability in this battle, even, even though this is her battle. She's the one I'm afraid of dying the most. Don't overdo it. Ready? Are you okay? I was Oh, and I was saying. Don't overdo it. Ready? Don't overdo it. Ready? Yes. Impressed. Okay. Never stood a chance. Well, that wasn't too bad. She was more difficult than either of the Grand Cardinals, which makes sense. She is a supernatural being, after all. Uh, might as well cook meat stew again. All right, we're good. Now swear your vow. Upon what vow do you form our pact? Right now, at this very moment, there are people who are suffering. I vow to save those people. Understood. I pledge my power to you, Sheila. Undini. You have a surprising breadth of knowledge, Kratos. I once had an acquaintance who was somewhat knowledgeable about summoned spirits. I see. Mm. Okay, we got an aquamarine, and she learned to learn S Seal Water, which is actually a. It means Silva Seal, like Silverant Seal. And uh, it imbues your weapons with a water um, element. So it's like if you use an aqua quartz. It's like the skill version of that. Also, we learned Summon Water, which is Summon Undine. Ni. So, Undini. <laughs> Houdini! Um, not, not Houdini. Um, so, that's pretty good. So I'll probably, I don't know, Corinne, you know, is whatever. But Undini, the Spirit of Water, doesn't really say what she does. It costs 100 TP to summon once. But... Undine actually, um, uh, she attacks with water, like a spread move, basically, and she also heals your party, so that's pretty useful. We'll only be using her when we, Sheena goes into Overlimit, though, which will be rare, but I'll try to show it off when that does happen. So we'll have to keep Sheena in the party in order for that to be, in order for that to happen. Okay, well, we're done here. That's it. We didn't actually have to solve any puzzles or anything. We already did this temple. So... That's convenient. Man, you rule, Sheena. What are you talking about? Summon spirits, what else? What was it again? You know, all that thou and thy stuff? Ah, uh, yeah. That's so cool, making packs with summon spirits. Really? 
Say, what does it feel like? Hmm, it feels like a great power separate from myself comes surging out from inside my body. I don't really understand, but it's so cool. I wish I was a summoner. Although, I hated being a summoner. Really? And I guess we're not going to get any follow-up to that uh, inquiry, but... Um, let's leave. <laughs> we don't have to come back here anymore. We, get, we pretty much milked this temple f for, all we, for all it was worth. Um, I'm avoiding encounters. I don't feel like fighting right now, but... Um, come on. Now would be a good time to use Sheena's personal X skill. Let's see if I can do that, actually. Slows the reaction time of enemies in dungeons. Come on. Yeah, see? See? That's Sheena's personal X skill in action right there. Little invincibility frames. I think that even works even when Sheena is not the on-screen character. Like, I don't think she has to be on-screen, I just think you have to have that as her X skill there. So cool. Um, well, do I need any items? I guess I'll buy the one magic lens that I used. And that's it, yeah. That's it. Go back on the wash tubs. Wanna go back now? Yeah. And Rain is just overwhelmed. <laughs> Poor Rain. She fought... You know, you'd think Rain would have been really scared fighting Undini, but she wasn't. She stood her own. She stood her ground, healed us, and because of her, we won the battle. So, all's well that ends well. I do want to rest at the thing here. So now what we have to do is go to the Tower of Mana and get Boltzmann's book. It's also a seal, so there's a lot going on there. Thank goodness. Sheena, congratulations! Yeah, thanks. I was finally able to put to use what I learned at the Elemental Research Academy. I guess you even learned it from those horrible people. It's still useful. You still can't forgive them? They did mean things to me. I hate them. You're my only friend, Sheena. Ah. You helped me, so I'll help you too. Corinne's like Mickey Mouse. Okay, thanks, Corinne. <laughs> huh? Um, I don't know who these Elemental Research Academy people are. Well, actually, I do, because I've played this game before. But do you know who they are? Because they haven't been mentioned before. And this whole thing about Sheena being from a village somewhere, and people who treated Corinne badly there. Like, what's all this about? We have never run into these a place like that. And I'm not going to spoil it, because spoiler free the truth. If we find the unicorn, we might be able to save Clara. Yes, probably. Okay then, let's go. They'll be sad when she learns the truth. Did you say something, Professor? No, it's nothing. Uh, oh, I know, I know what rain means, but I'm not gonna spoil that either. Because we gotta go... Well, should we do the unicorn thing now? Let's do the unicorn thing now. I was going to say we should save that for the next episode, but... You know what? Let's go. We've got Undini. We can go talk to the unicorn. I say we do it. So, let's trek all the way back to Hakanasia Peak. And over the... Oh, that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. This is going to be a piece of cake! Demon White spear! That was disappointing. I guess we can get Sheena's cooking ability up a little bit. I'm still disappointed we didn't get to get this, the uh, customization materials we needed. That's okay. I, I'm gonna 
They gotta be somewhere around there, right? Somewhere in the world <laughs> that we've been thus far. Even if we have to go all the way back to Triad, which I believe that's exactly what we have to do. But we will have to do that at some point anyway, for reasons. Alright, so back over the mountain. Back on to Noish. And back over to Lake Umasi. I think we can do everything at Lake Umasi right now. I'm, I'm not sure. We still, after all, the Tower of Mana thing is still a major player in this whole uh, endeavor. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll show that off when we do. Okay, go on, Sheena. Ask Undini to take us over there. Wait, that's not going to work. Why? The unicorn can only be approached by a pure maiden. At the very least, Lloyd Genus and I are out. He's pretty picky if he'll only talk to girls. So then, just rain and... I'll stay behind. Colette, go by yourself. Hey, are you saying I'm not... that I'm not qualified? <laughs> oh boy. Qualified? Oh, they're all so innocent. Y you don't have to all say it at once. Then we shall send Colette and Sheena. Why can't the professor go? Because I'm an adult. That line right there is what causes all the speculation about Rain, especially in, with Rain and Linar. Just saying. Just saying. Mm hmm? Uh, okay then. I'm going to summon now. I mean, Rain is a little older than the other ladies here, but that's not what being a pure maiden is all about. Anyway. I call upon the Maiden of the Mist. I summon thee. Come, Undini. Please, Undini. Take us to the Unicorn. As you wish. To the lake. And the Unicorn just gets up when he hears the Undini's coming. It's a cute little Unicorn. They're like skating on the lake. Martel? Martel? You mean the goddess Martel? No, I am Colette, and this is... I'm Sheena. Not Martel? That cannot be. This presence, this mana, and this sickness. Even in my blindness, it is clear. You are Martel. Me? Yes. I exist to save the awakened Martel from her sickness. You now suffer from that sickness, do you not? You can tell that Colette is sick? Yes. Her body is racing out of control. Please, save Colette. The unicorn, the horn of a unicorn has that kind of power, right? Um, it's alright. I'll be fine. Colette! I was born to become the Chosen of Regeneration, so it's okay. But there is someone we promised we would cure. I want to keep our promise. Uh, I see now. You are the Chosen of Regeneration. Take it. Alright, so we got the Unicorn. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Our horns are our very lives. My destiny is now fulfilled. No! Do not be troubled. A new life will be born for me. And when that new life ends, yet another will be born. In doing so, we live on forever. Unicorns are like the phoenixes of this universe, basically. Are you two alright? Sheena, are you crying? The unicorn gave us his horn. I see. Then the unicorn is dead. You knew? When a unicorn loses its horn, it dies. By dying, a new unicorn, a new unicorn is born. That's why the unicorn is the symbol of death and rebirth. 
Like I said, like a phoenix. Will a new unicorn be born? Yes, probably. I hope so. The unicorn gave us this horn at the cost of his life. We must make good use of it. Yeah, Colette. Now we might be able to get you back to normal. Yes, but not now. Why? Because right now I still haven't finished regenerating the world. So please use this for Pietro and Clara. But Colette! Don't worry, once I've regenerated the world, I'll use I'll use this on me. Alright? Alright. That's a weird way to say that. Professor here. And we learn the most one of the most important spells in the game, resurrection. Which is, has not been important thus far because we weren't letting anyone die. But pretty soon we'll be getting that title for Colette. And Resurrection... You know, we'll, battles will get harder and we will need to resurrect characters. Trust me. So Rain has just become... If she wasn't already a staple in the party, she is now. <laughs> also a new title, Grand Healer. She is the grandest of healers. It seems I've acquired some new healing arts thanks to this horn. Now we can save Clara. No, it would be difficult to save her with only the, the healing arts I learned just now. What? We must find a method that will develop these healing arts into a different form. Where are we going to find something like that? This area is said to be where healing arts were first developed. I'm sure we'll find some clues in this region. Okay then, let's have a look around the cities in this area. Wait, wait just a little longer, Colette. I promise we'll fulfill your wish. Um, so, we already know where to go. We have to go to the Tower of Mana. Colette, are you sure this is what you want? Not using the unicorn horn, I mean? You're the one that went and got it. Yes, my body is just becoming an angel, after all. Or, that's all. But you can't even eat or sleep when you want to. Are you saying you're happy with that? I think that's what it means to become an angel. It's just not right. It's just not right that you have to sacrifice yourself like this. I'm sorry, but thank you, Lloyd. Okay, so, um... The whole thing about Colette... Colette doesn't want to sleep right now. She's not hungry, either. It's not like she's... Like, she is suffering. Like, this is a burdensome journey, and... But... She doesn't really act like she's like tired but can't sleep. She's just she's she's just like doesn't feel the need to eat sleep. Oh, another skit. Or eating for that matter. You know, she is suffering but not in that way. Anyway, um Martel's a goddess, right? That's what they call her. Do goddesses get sick too? I guess they do. That's silly. But look, if you think about how Colette can become an angel, humans and angels can't be all that different. And angels serve Martel. Hmm, I guess. I still think it sounds kind of strange for a goddess to catch a cold. Well, yeah, that's true. Um, anyway, what I was saying, though, and the whole thing with Martel being sick, what was that about? Like, uh, confusing the Chosen for Martel, I guess that's not such a wild notion given the nature of the journey, and to revive Martell and everything, but, um, but, what was I going to say? Yeah, but everybody's so obsessed with, like, healing Colette because they're not happy with her symptoms, and I get that, because it's, like, inhumane, and it's weird, and it's, Colette's becoming less human, and they're scared of that, but, like, Colette, like, like, the whole, if they just cure Colette, the whole purpose of their journey goes out the window, so, I... I do, however, like the fact that this is kind of the beginning of Lloyd and everyone thinking maybe there's a different way. Maybe there's something messed up about this whole process that we've accepted for so long. So that's kind of the start to that whole thread, and I do like that. Um, anyway, that's just me musing about a game I've played upwards of 20 times at this point, probably. But, um, yeah, that's all. We're, next time we're going to go to, um, whatchamacallit, the Tower of Mana which is where we need to go to uh, improve Rain's healing arts and do all that stuff that we need to do. Oh, and uh, also, you know, the last seal before we're done the journey of regeneration. Well, almost. Grand healer. Um, hmm. That's tempting. 
I'll leave that on her for a while, even though it decreases her int. But... Yeah. But next time we'll do all that stuff, and I can't wait to show you what we have in store. So see you then.